So it's time to grab Dexter and his grandma, and we're going to do an adventure here in Holland. So we will see you in a minute. It's a balmy 14 degrees today and Dexter, Grandma and I are going to be doing a little walk here at Strawberry Acres in Holland, Ohio. Um, it's one of our go-to parks. It's just down the street from us. The path the circles around and it's just under a mile but it's fully, as you can see over here, let's see if I can zoom in, it's a fully paved path and they scoop it so it's always a really nice place to walk. Um, I actually take a lot of my dog training clients here too because uh, there's a lot of foot path so there's a lot of distance that you can get between other dogs and other people especially if there's any issues with the dogs working on and it looks like with it being 14 degrees we may have the park all to ourselves maybe there's a car over there so definitely one of our favorite parks to visit and I can see that the squirrels are up there having a good time, so I guess we're not going to be the only ones enjoying ourselves. Can we see them? <laughs> Dexter's definitely bundled up. He's got a couple layers on, his boots on, he's nice and toasty. And he's ready to roll. <laughs> he likes the cool. <laughs> the coolness. Dexter loves to sniff and investigate and that's one of the important things that we like to do when we're on our walks is let him enjoy himself and be a little bit of a dog and do doggy things. And this has always been one of my favorite signs. The birds are out. You can definitely hear the birds. Oh, there's our red woodpecker up there. Okay, buddy. Okay. All right, so Hobby Lobby is dog friendly store to store, so you have to ask each um, store if they allow dogs. Our location in Holland did say yes. So, we are going. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Good. We always make sure when we're in stores that he stays right with me. And you can see all this nice glass stuff. So we actually skip that aisle. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. So we want to make sure that we're polite. Keep him right with me. No sniffing that stuff. This way, buddy. <laughs> this way. Come here. Come here. Good boy. We just, <laughs> good boy. And normally I do give him his treats for being good. Instead of the video camera. Good boy. This is another great way for us to get out there and explore. Even though it's cold outside. And we do do some shopping. Um, and I do carry either, I do push a cart or a basket when I'm with him. Come on. <laughs> He's like, Mom, camera treats. But um, with videoing this for you guys, I'm just not that coordinated. Um, and I don't normally let him be in the shopping carts. 
because, you know, it might not be the cleanest thing and other people are going to put their stuff in, in the shopping carts. Um, it's not such a big deal if it's a place like this, like Hobby Lobby, where there's not really that much food items. Um, but if you're in like the home store and stuff, there's food items. <laughs> yeah, who's that handsome boy? Who's that handsome boy? Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. And then we also go in, in these aisles and we get lots of props for our photos. Because they always have these fun little hats and these are some of the things that I use in Dexter's photo shoots. And we get a lot of those at our Hobby Lobby. We just look over here. And that would be something <laughs> that I'd plop on Dexter's head maybe for the 4th of July. But Dexter has to stay away from feathers because he has a love-hate relationship with feathers. So he has to stay away. Good. This is Dexter. Hi, sweetie. Hi. I'm Tanya. Hi, sweetie. Sure can. No, no. And this is why Dexter likes coming to the store. Oh, that good? Lay on your tail. Huh? Thank you. Oh, are you gonna spin and snort for her? Huh? You gonna spin and snort? <laughs> so we love our pet people. Lots of nice, healthy, natural options. So we come here often. Grandma's picking out some food for her kitty. And when we do our indoor adventures too, we just let him explore. I do make sure that he's with me and that no one's around the corner. <laughs> Dexter, you don't like bass. You have a nice little spa here. And then um, they have a lot of selection of raw pet food, which of course we love. <laughs> <laughs> you can see <laughs> the waggles. See, this is all on the bottom just like you're supposed to. <laughs> and actually, this might look familiar. This is where we got our raincoats for uh, Dexter and Levi. But I do want to make sure when we're out and about that he's not calling, causing any problems, not knocking anything over, not saying hello to people without being asked. <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's find you something. He's staring at the counter, which is where he gets his treat handouts. <laughs> yes, thank you. So we are going to pick out a braided boy stick. And Dexter, of course, he always wants something that I'm not giving him. So I'll just pick one out for him. And let's see. I always look for them that are nice and thick. Yummy. <laughs> that one look okay? That one look okay? Now, if I wasn't going to let him have it, I wouldn't let him, like, lick on it. 
so I don't want them to lick on these other treats. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and so his harness got a little turned over. We hear some people here, so we want to make sure that he stays in his spot. <laughs> okay, come on. Last time we were here, I, you're not going to chew that off. I got him a nice big one. But he ended up chewing in half. Yeah, is that the way you want? All right, I'm getting that for you. Lots of options, and what we like too is there's a lot of treat options that have just single ingredients, and that's what we always look for for training treats. So we get those a lot. Again, it's always about flipping over the bag and reading the ingredient panel. So it just hearts. <laughs> okay. So we are going to, unfortunately, we go down the toy aisle, but Dexter can't have a lot of toys because he does kill toys, which is a shame. So we just have to play other games with him. So we are going to go to Chipotle for lunch. Um, they do have an outside patio that is dog friendly, but obviously it's closed up right now for the winter. Um, I'm actually really just down the street, so we're going to actually get Chipotle to go. Good stuff. Um, so he's going to have his bully stick while we eat our chipotle. So we will see you guys next week. I wanted to thank Primavora Holistic Canine Nutrition for sponsoring our travels. Each Wednesday, Dexter and I will put on new travel content, so don't forget to hit the subscribe and click the bell, and we will see you Wednesday. Mm -hmm.